no studio no problem in this video i am going to show you how to use CapCut to generate realistically looking background for your youtube fucking head videos everything in CapCut. so without delay let's dive straight in and create the magic wait Yeah, Baba. To generate your background image on CapCut, all you have to do is, once you're in CapCut, locate the media panel which is on the left side of the editing interface and click on AI generated, like so. Once you've done that, click on the prompt box and type your prompt. For me, I want a beautiful wall for a YouTube video with bookshelf, a desk and editing laptop with dim lighting. Once you type in your prompt, click on generate and of course you need to be connected to the internet because it will ask you to log in so i want to log in with my tiktok account so i click sign in with tiktok so you click that it will take you to your browser and if you're already logged into your tiktok account it will connect automatically now you have to click open CapCut and return to the app so now we are back in CapCut and because I have been using CapCut to generate images it shows me a history of all the images I have generated now as you can see this image we just generated is in 1080p by 1080p and so we want to adjust the aspect ratio now to adjust the aspect ratio click on adjust and then you want to select the 16 by 9 aspect ratio which is equivalent to 1920 by 1080 hd video standard once you click that drag the steps all the way to 50 so as to improve the image quality then click on generate so the images are already generated to download any image click on hd once you click on hd it will upscale the particular image to hd standard then you can now download and then i'm going to save this in a folder i'll create a new folder and i'll name the folder CapCut bg select the folder and the image will be saved in the folder to download another image i'm just going to click again on hd and of course it will upscale the image to hd standard then i click on download and this is how to generate any image of your choice on CapCut using prompts and as you can see i also generated a standard studio so i'm going to show you how you're going to edit this with the footage you shot to make it look like you actually shot in the very location to make this very effective, make sure you're shooting on a plain background with good lighting. Light yourself properly to separate yourself from the background. You can even use daylight if you cannot afford a standard studio lighting. Daylight will do. Just be creative around it. So let's move on. So right here in my editing workspace, I already segmented the images and the footages in folders. In this folder are the images I generated on Leonardo AI. There's a link in the description below to show you how I did that and also how I edited it with the footage to make it look seamless. Hold on there. Before we move on, I believe you'll be getting some tons of values from this video already because I have. Now, smash that like button to tell the algorithm that this is a helpful video and to help others find it subscribe to our youtube channel as it will help us create more helpful tutorials as this one and also click that bell icon to be the first to get notified anytime we drop helpful filmmaking tips as this one if you check the channel already you will see already videos and helpful tutorials that we already created for you if you've done that please comment i have liked and subscribed thank you let's move on this is the document video we are going to use for this tutorial so once you are here all you want to do is drag the talking head video to the timeline and once once you do that you come to remove bg like so remove bg once you are remove bg again don't click on chroma because we didn't shoot this video on green chroma so chroma is not the best as you can see there is a um, there's a gradient here a gray gradient and if i use chroma it's going to mess up with my face so all you want to do is you want to click on auto remover when you click on auto remover it's going to nicely take out the background leaving the image as you have seen here 
in the video the next thing you want to do is you want to drag in the image that you're going to use for the video many of these pictures will work for this tutorial but I'm going to specifically use this one I'll use this one for this tutorial so let me use this one so I'll drag it on, on the timeline and I drag it on the timeline and I drag it to the end of the video. Notice that when I drag this image to the timeline and it is behind the talking head video, it is still behind the picture. And that's because CapCut also uses layers like Photoshop. So all we need to do is come back to basic and come all the way to click on layer two. So say this video comes to layer two like so and once we do that we'll now see that this video is above the background we have um underneath so once we have this it is looking good right now it is looking good right now but then we need to also color grade it and make it more realistic and to do that first and foremost we are going to be applying filters so we come here to apply filters and to do this, we're going to come to filter and select two um, specific filters. The first one is Bad Bunny. We'll come to Bad Bunny here and drag it all the way down. And then we'll reduce the intensity to about 50. The next thing is to also drag in the enhance, uh, enhance filter. Like as you see here, this enhance filter. So once you click plus to add the enhanced filter to the timeline, we drag it all the way. And then we we'll also reduce a bit. I'm going to leave it, pack it here at 70. Yeah, I'm going to pack it here at 70. Or let's say 65 or 60. Yeah. So I'm going to pack it here at 60. Once uh, the filters is added, the next thing is to also tweak the image, the talking head video, and also the background to make it rhyme even more. And to do that, we are going to select the video and we'll come to retouch. First, we want to click on retouch and we want to um, touch the smooth, drag the smooth to about 50. We'll drag it to about 50 and also we we whiten the teeth yeah it's a cool effect if you want to whiten up your teeth you know make it shiny yeah <laughs> anyway so once this is done the next thing is to click on the adjustments when we click on the adjustments we want to touch the exposure we we'll touch the contrast rather once you click on the adjustment we want to touch in the contrast to about five i'll give it value five and the highlights i'm going to give it minus three then the shadows i'm going to touch i'm going to make it minus three as well and also i'm going to make the whites minus three just so to reduce the whites on my face to make the image blend more and then i'm going to crush the blacks to minus five minus five is too much so let's do minus okay minus three is too much as well i'm going to do minus two minus two is fine okay yeah minus two is fine so i'm not hiding any information you see there are still information in my hair here we still have information in my beards and nothing is um crushed once this is done the next thing i want to do is to come to the video and see if everything um comes up really nice of course it does the next thing i want to do is i want to touch the background a bit if you check the background you will see that the image behind the background image is too shouty the lights here are too bright the whites are too bright the highlights are also so bright and also uh, it is still competing with my face here so what we need to do is we need to tone this down a bit to do that we're going to select the image and also 
we come to adjustments and then we reduce the highlights to about six minus six and then we reduce the whites to about minus three minus three is good minus three yeah as you can see these whites this is what happened here this white um was reduced the moment i touched it see what we had initially pay attention pay attention to these whites it's bright but now see what we have now minus three okay so you see it now so then we're going to um take down the exposure to about minus two even better so you see we'll take down the exposure to about minus two and this is looking um really good the next thing is we want to we want to um touch the blacks a bit so i'm going to make the blacks minus two as well oh ho so now minus two everything is looking beautiful now it is not competing with um my face the background is nicely dealt with another thing we want to do is um let me make this highlight minus four rather okay so another thing we want to do is we want to add let me reduce the value of these blacks to minus um minus one and and also um the highlights to minus three okay let's see okay beautiful the next thing we want to do now is we want to add some depth of field to the background um image so it's going to make it look um more natural and to do that i'm going to click on effects and under effects i'm going to click on lens and i'm going to find blur so blur here you don't want to if you click this it's going to make the whole image blur and this is not what we want of course so let's delete this we are going to drag this we are going to drag this blur and we are going to apply it to this particular this um, one underneath like so so having done that we will come here to reduce the value of the blur reduce the blurriness to about five five is good so let's check it out so five i'm going to add it i'm going to make it even let's let's make it ten okay i think 10 is too much i'm going to pack it at seven i mean pack it at seven okay seven is good you see and that's it if you apply this same process on different backgrounds you will still achieve the same beautiful result and that's it on today's episode so you can now create your own videos generating your background from cap cuts and making amazing videos already you don't have to wait so if you got some value from this video please smash that like button subscribe to our youtube channel and click on the notification bell to get notified each time we release a new tutorial thank you now see you in the next tutorial thank you